Best Bluetooth Speaker 2020, Best Wireless Speakers for Audio Quality and Portable Speaker Convenience. Best Bluetooth Speaker 2020, Best Wireless Speakers for Audio Quality and Portable Speaker Convenience. Stream music from any phone, tablet or laptop with the best Bluetooth wireless speakers for indoors and waterproof ones for the garden. If you're looking for the best Bluetooth speaker for really good audio indoors then we have the cure for your wireless blues. If you're looking for the more traditional small, portable speaker that uses Bluetooth then scroll way down or use this handy jump link to our guide to the best portable Bluetooth speakers. Keep an eye on our Amazon Prime Day hub for possible bargains too. Whatever their shape, price or appearance. All of these Bluetooth speakers are here primarily on the basis of the sound quality and suitability for use at home. Bluetooth is a wonderfully easy and versatile way to stream music. And after years of honing and improvement, the best Bluetooth speakers can sound excellent, especially when they also utilize sound quality improving technologies such as APTX, APTX HD, AAC and or Wi-Fi. So you can stream from your device or the cloud in higher resolution. No, all Bluetooth speakers are wireless but not all wireless speakers rely on Bluetooth. Although most include it, this is going to become more of an issue as wireless speaker technology evolves. A lot of the best recent Bluetooth speakers also feature Wi-Fi streaming from your phone or direct from the cloud for services such as Tidal, Spotify and Apple Music. Others include Alexa voice control, which can let you summon music from Spotify. Apple Music, Deezer and others, you need to be subscribed to these services. Of course, a great example of this is the Audio Pro C3 that is one in this very list. Bluetooth also turns up as an option on speakers that are really meant to be used with Wi-Fi or an analog or digital. Wired Input, Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelin. Names Muso Family and so on. However, since far more people search for Bluetooth speaker than wireless speaker, we're going to continue to call it that. Additional connections, 3.5 mm input, phono, preamp turntable, optical digital, USB audio, 3.5 mm headphone output. If you're a Bluetooth purist, do such people exist looking for a great sounding speaker? Tuck is one of a very small number of options right now. Most higher-end wireless speakers also include Wi-Fi and cloud connectivity to service Tidal, Spotify, AirPlay, Chromecast AL. Canto Tuck has no truck with such newfangled notions. It supports Bluetooth 4.2 AAC and APTX, and no other wireless connections at all. It's also not a speaker. It's a stereo pair of attractive, compact bookshelf speakers. The right-hand one contains the connections and DACs and Class D amplifiers and all that. And the right one is a slave, connected by a wire. Yes, doing proper, stereo Bluetooth without a wire between the speakers is a more elegant solution, but in my experience it never works satisfactorily 100% of the time. It's also not just a pair of speakers, either, with a pre-amped input for a turntable. A standard, line-level phono input, optical digital and USB. The Canto Tuck is actually what old people would call a music system or mini system. I've been using this for some months now via Bluetooth and from a DAC attached to my iMac and after a certain amount of running in. It sounds superb, as it should for this price. Given that a stereo pair of speakers always sounds better than a one-box speaker of equivalent price. This is the choice for those who want a music setup based around Bluetooth. With the best possible sound quality. Clearly, setup is more complicated than with a one box but the compact size of the tuck and straightforward connectivity. Make it as easy as it can be. I've seen reviews of this saying the bass is a bit thin. But I can assure you on a half decent pair of stands or a reasonably substantial shelf it is booming. There's a subwoofer connection as well. If you are a total bottom-end fiend, a handsome and sturdy remote is included. Although I can't say I've used it much. Your color choices are the black pictured here, and its arch-rival white. The white finish looks better IMO and the casing doesn't seem to be the dirt magnet that many white speakers are. This is more like what many people would consider a classic Bluetooth speaker than the Canto Tuck. But really, it is a Sonos multi-room speaker, designed to be connected via Wi-Fi. However the move has been ruggedized, 
and had a battery and Bluetooth connectivity added, so you can use it outdoors. Basically a Sonos one that you can take in your garden. The move also includes Amazon Alexa or Google Voice Assistants, although not when in Bluetooth mode, and multi-room streaming support from a vast range of music services, although not when in Bluetooth mode. Sound quality is excellent, and there's some genuinely clever software that automatically optimizes the sound to its surroundings every time you move it. You can have some fun with the move putting it in the most acoustically unpromising positions you can think of, it nearly always ends up sounding good. Indoors or out, Sonos Move is not the most handsome thing, but you soon realize its design is excellent. A massive, recessed, handle on the back makes it easy to transport. And as well as being rugged, the base and paint finish are cunningly designed so it doesn't get marked and scarred by a life of being hefted about and placed on patios. Sonos app provides support for any music service you can think of or subscribe to, as well as allowing voice control of tunes via Alexa or Google. When you're in Bluetooth mode however, move functions like any other Bluetooth speaker, you send music from your phone or other devices. From whatever music apps you happen to have installed, audio quality takes a noticeable hit when you switch to Bluetooth, compared to Wi-Fi or cloud streaming. Even so, it sounds way better than any other portable Bluetooth speaker I can think of. The battery life of 10 hours isn't bad, but do remember to replace the move on its elegant charging stand when you're not using it outdoors or in the bathroom, the battery continues to drain even in standby mode, which can be an annoyance. The Megaboom 3 is right at the opposite end of the portable speaker spectrum from Audio Pro's list topper. It's fully focused on the outdoors, being waterproof and very rugged. Actually it's not just waterproof, it even floats. So if it's accidentally or deliberately dropped in the pool, it's easily retrieved. Unlike the add-on C3, the Megaboom 3 probably won't win approving nods from audiophiles but while it may be targeted at those who want dance, pop and rock tunes in the outdoors, its small footprint and attractive design mean it can function perfectly happily in the kitchen. The coolly muted colors it comes in are, in fact, about the only quiet things about it. Ultimate Ears has absolutely piled on the bonus features here, with the ability to pair two in stereo as well as the option to chain anything up to hundreds of them. For even greater volume, a magic button on top lets you easily play, pause and skip tracks and, ah, not so easily control playlists. It's cool that UE has added this functionality but it has two problems, it only works with Apple Music and Deezer playlists and you can only skip forwards through your playlists, one at a time, so if you have hundreds of playlists, this could be of rather limited use, or at least, you'll get RSI skipping to the one you want, with 20 hours of battery life, impressive bass and volume, 360, sound, and build quality that renders it essentially unkillable. The UE Mega Boom is by far the best outdoor speaker you can get, and as noted, you don't need to wait for summer to come back to enjoy it, as it does work well, for pop music in particular, in the kitchen, bedroom or elsewhere, if you want a very similar speaker with Alexa built in, as on an Amazon Echo device, UE also does the Mega Blast. This doesn't float but it is waterproof and does let you control Amazon and Spotify playlists and tunes with the power of your voice, and Alexa. The winner of the T3 award for best Bluetooth speaker of 2019. The Pulse Flex 2i is actually rather more than just a Bluetooth speaker. With Wi-Fi and Ethernet included. It's actually like a more portable Sonos. It's AirPlay 2 compatible. And also works with popular streaming services including Tidal and Spotify. And Internet Radio. Considering how small it is. Sound quality is little short of remarkable. With a wired connection it's even capable of playing high-res audio files. For audio files. But Tidal, CD quality, and even the likes of Spotify compressed MP3, sound wonderful. The versatility needn't stop there. As you can add a battery pack, 69 pounds, and carry it with you wherever you may roam. Although not for very long. As battery life is only 6 hours. Compared to the Audio Pro speaker at 2. Blue Sound's Champ is bordering on ugly, but since it sounds even better than the C3, has even more connectivity, and boasts an app that actually works, we'll set aside our aesthetic reservations. 
Update Audio Pro's iOS app is currently broken if you have the most recent iOS update. So you will have to use AirPlay and or Bluetooth and you can only get multiroom via a laptop. Not mobile. Until Audio Pro can work out what's gone wrong. Android app still works fine, and older versions of iOS. If you're a tardy updater, there are Bluetooth speakers that are more like updates to the old Hi-Fi mini systems, you plug them in. The mainly for streaming but have a line in. And the emphasis is on superior sound quality. Then there are your classic portable Bluetooth speakers with battery power and go anywhere convenience. The Audio Pro add-on C3 however, and a number of the other Bluetooth speakers listed here, are a hybrid of the two. The C3 looks extremely stylish. Sounds superb but is very petite. Has a natty carry handle. And 9 hours of battery life. It also piles on AirPlay and Spotify Connect via Wi-Fi. As well as Audio Pro's own app so you can even use it as part of a very chic multi-room setup. There's a line in as well. Audio Pro's app is dire, but you don't actually need to use it other than for multi-room control. If you use AirPlay from a laptop or mobile you can bypass it entirely and still have multi-room. Although one thing you should definitely use the app for is to set up the five preset buttons on the front of the C3 these then give instant access to your favorite web radio stations or Spotify playlists. Slightly surprisingly when connected via Bluetooth there's no support for the audio improving app Tex Android or AAC iOS codex. However music played via Bluetooth still sounds excellent. This isn't a cheap box for playing pop music in the park although it will do that. So long as you keep it dry, it's a very musical, high-quality speaker that happens to use Bluetooth. What you've got here is a super portable speaker with Wi-Fi streaming for higher quality and multi-room. With Bluetooth for total convenience. It's a stunner, especially if you can avoid using Audio Pro's quite crappy app. If you are after a speaker with the tiny footprint and 360 audio of the UE Megaboom 3, but more refined sound and less rugged looks, not that the Mega Boom is unattractive. Look no further than Boss's Soundlink Revolve. For its size, this is a superb sounding speaker. And Boss's excellent app makes it easy to pair two into a stereo duo. Audio quality is high and portability is exemplary although unlike the ultimate ears speaker. This is not waterproof, so don't chuck it in your hot tub. This speaker is badged as a Marshall. But obviously it doesn't come direct from the same sweat-stained factories as its legendary guitar amps. But it still rocks. And this MK2 model is notably better than the excellent first Kilburn in terms of both sound and looks. Audio is loud and proud. Rich and powerful with plenty of bass. And cleverly processed with a strong, faux analog, sound. Built as a compact speaker for small to medium rooms. It is nonetheless still battery powered and portable via a natty strap. Pairing is swift and the audio, while colored so as to sound rocky, can be tweaked all over the place using the old school bass and treble tone knobs. The looks might still not be to non-rockers tastes, but Marshall has toned down the heavy metal styling in recent years. And this sits quite happily in any home that isn't overloaded with chintz. The audio is still not what you'd call subtle. But there's little to beat the Marshall Kilburn for sheer room filling oomph. The addition of basic splash and moisture resistance makes it suitable for bathroom use. So long as you don't leave it too near the bath. It's part of a range of excellent Marshall Bluetooth speakers and also. Nowadays. Some excellent multi-room Wi-Fi speakers. If you want a rather more serious Marshall badge speaker in your rockin' home. This is probably the one to go for. The Stanmore 2 voice takes the musical virtues of the Kilburn 2 but loses battery power and a bit of moisture proofing. Instead what you get is a very stylish plug-in speaker with 80 combined watts of power 2x15w plus a 50w woofer and Alexa built in. It is a little bit of a faff setting it up. And once that's done you have to press a button every time you want to pair it. Or it defaults to a Wi-Fi setting that as far as I can see is only needed for the aforementioned setup. That's because Alexa, used in conjunction with Amazon Music or Spotify, with other services to follow now Amazon has opened up Alexa to third parties. Makes for a great audio experience on the Stanmore too.
nobody is going to mistake it for audiophile sound. But being able to order up any tune in the world, and have it blasted out, is highly enjoyable. Eventually, Marshall reckons Amazon will also allow third-party speakers to use its multi-room system. But we'll see about that. Even if you don't have Amazon Music or Spotify, Alexa's usual bag of tricks and skills is on hand, and it's excellent as an aptX Bluetooth speaker. 2. If you only want to use it as a Bluetooth speaker, you're better off with the vanilla, Alexa-less version of the Stanmore 2. If you decide the Cambridge Audio Yo-Yo M is both too stupidly named, and too much of a pain to set up, this excellent offering offers full stereo, without the need to pair two speakers, as they're wired together, with a 3.5mm input and an optical digital one and an output for an active subwoofer. This could be the basis of a neat little system, but it's also mighty fine as a Bluetooth-only setup. Audio is in line with most Ruark products, in that it's more Manilow than Metallica, more Stone Roses than Stormzy. But that's fine. In my opinion, the more upfront sound of the Cambridge Audio Yo-Yo M is better, and it's cheaper too, but I know loads of older folks and acoustic heads love the Ruark sound. The fact the speakers are wired to each other does make setup less of a hassle as it removes the need to turn on two speakers every time you want to listen to music. It does limit how far apart you can place them, but you could always buy a longer 3.5mm to 3.5mm cable. Rather brilliantly, you can mate the MR1 MK2 with a Riga P1 or upgrade to a Riga P2. As you can see, they make an exceedingly handsome couple, and let me tell you, readers, they're a couple who make sweet music together. Um, 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 if you don't require stereo, or lack the space for two speakers, but love the sophisticated, 1950s esque look and sound of Ruark, you should seriously consider the Ruark R1 MK3, with a built-in DAB radio, it might be all the speaker your kitchen or caravan ever needs. The best portable speakers turn up everywhere from fields to beaches to kitchens or even strapped to cyclists as they pedal past blasting out Taylor Swift or Motorhead. They're like the portable radios of the 21st century, and the best portable speakers are waterproof or at least water-resistant. Right now, they are dead handy if you're working from home, specifically, from your garden or balcony. Or, if you have no garden, they could be useful for those working in the bathroom as it's the only unused space with a battery and vary degrees of ruggedicing and waterproofing. These are handy for moving from room to room, and also taking outside. Some are fully waterproof and can be chucked in your swimming pool or, perhaps more realistically for UK readers, stand up to sudden summer downpours. Portable speakers use Bluetooth to receive music from just about any phone, tablet or laptop in existence. And although the audio may not be lossless, the best ones to deliver decent sonics, as well as portability, versatility and toughness. Ideally, you want aptX, usually found on Android device, and or AAC, usually on iOS and Macs although it is starting to appear on certain Android phones to support for better audio, these suck more bytes of information out of your music playing device, giving theoretically better sound, especially with higher bitrate music streams and MP3. That said, Portable speakers for outdoors in particular are generally more about volume than refinement. And any kind of Bluetooth delivers perfectly adequate audio for that. They just need to be loud enough to be heard over the sizzling of your barbecue. Or the drone of your electric lawnmower. Please note these speakers are not all fully waterproof. There aren't sufficient waterproof speakers of good enough quality to make a list worthwhile. We've noted which ones you can submerge in water and which ones will just stand up to a bit of summer showering. Although all these sound very good, most aren't of a suitable quality for serious listening. The original Wonderboom from Logitech's subsidiary Ultimate Ears was great. Wonderboom 2 is, as you'd imagine, one better, better sound, longer battery life, 13 hours instead of 10. Cool new buttons to play with. Dust and sand proofing, as well as the previous imperviousness to water and still all for just £89.99. And, and Ultimate Ears products never retail at their RRP for long. So give it a month or so and it'll be even more of a bargain. Unlike UE's more sophisticated Megaboom 3, 
There's no app to use more than one of them at once, it's just a straight up Bluetooth speaker. It's super portable though, and you can pair two of them either in stereo or dual mono. Strong Bluetooth means they can be placed 100 meters apart too, at either end of a tennis court. Was one example given at launch. Even with just one Wonderboom 2 in play, the 360 degree audio is better than it has any right to be at the price. Especially with pop, hip hop, EDM, row rock and other outdoor party friendly sounds. The Wonderboom 2 doesn't really try to straddle home and outdoors, it's clearly meant to be taken to wherever the party is. It's fully waterproof, in fact not only does it also float. But if you push it under the water for whatever reason, it'll even survive that. Being IP57 rated, it's also well protected against grit, salt water, dust and beachside sand. So long as you keep the USB charger cover in place, it's sufficiently rugged that you can chuck it at the wall if you like. And it'll survive that too. Another interesting new feature is outdoor boost. This makes the sound a bit less bassy and more shrill. This doesn't sound better than the normal mode, clearly, but it cuts through better and could be a handy addition. In an emergency, you can also still charge your phone from the Wonderboom 2. The Wonderboom 2 is the state of the art in waterproof. Outdoor portable speakers. Keep an eye out for the original Wonderboom speaker going cheap, though, it's still an excellent product, while it may be targeted at those who want dance. Pop and rock tunes in the outdoors. Its relatively small footprint and attractive design mean it can function perfectly happily indoors, in the kitchen. For instance, the coolly muted colors it comes in are, in fact, about the only quiet things about it, in contrast to the simplicity of the Wonderboom 2. Ultimate Ears has troweled on the bonus features here, with the ability to pair two in stereo as well as the option to chain anything up to hundreds of them for even greater volume via an app. To put it simply, Wonderboom 2 is the best portable speaker, but Megaboom 3 is a better speaker overall. But seeing as this is a list of the best portable speakers, we have ranked the simpler, smaller Wonderboom 2 top. Hopefully that makes sense. If you want a very similar speaker with Alexa built in, as on an Amazon Echo device, UE also does the Mega Blast. This doesn't float but it is waterproof and does let you control Amazon and Spotify playlists and tunes with the power of your voice and Alexa. A very touchable metallic lozenge in a variety of autumnal tones. The P2 is the most attractive of the current wave of small speakers that produce remarkably good sound. It's also pretty affordable for a Bang & Olufsen product. Needless to say, it will not be of use as part of a grime sound system. But there's enough bass to underpin the sweet mids and treble, giving a very decent overall sound. For the size, which is smaller than many phones, it's pretty remarkable. You'll probably want to use your phone to skip tracks and change volume because the P2's touch controls are, to put it mildly, hit and miss. I'd also advise giving the BO Play app a miss, other than for initial setup, and just using it as a straightforward Bluetooth speaker. Finally, the P2 also makes a very solid speakerphone, for when the music must cease, and it's time for business. If you want essentially the same speaker, but with more bass and volume, the larger, circular BO Play A1 is also well worth considering. The Boom 2 sits somewhere between the Wonder Boom 2 and Mega Boom 3 and can often be had very cheaply, because it is old. I prefer the Boom 2 to the Wonder Boom 2 for indoor use as it's just that bit bigger, and not dust, sand proof. Although it is similarly indestructible by water, you can use the UE app to link dozens of Boom 2s together, if you wish, and also link multiple mobile devices, and then have DJ Wars. With 15 hours of battery life, the party can go on way past your neighbor's tolerance limits. The audio was incredibly good for a waterproof speaker when it first appeared. Ultimate Ears have since raised the game still further with the Mega and Wonder Brothers. But it still sounds good, as ever with EU. Boom 2 is best suited to pop, dance and hip-hop, but it delivers a bit more nuance than the Wonder Boom 2. Well, you would not buy this Bose waterproof number if you want really great sound quality. For its size and weight though, which is small even when compared to the Bioclay P2 lozenge and UE Wonderboom hand grenade. You can't complain, in a selection of bright colors.
The Micro is an IPX7 waterproof, although it doesn't float. Low profile 10x 10.3.5 cm square. It puts in a solidly musical performance when you take those factors into account. And the 6 hour battery life is also not bad considering its size. An integrated rubber strap makes it fairly easy to attach to tent poles. Bicycle frames, backpacks and so on. Although you do have to have a bit of muscle power to stretch it over thicker mounting points. In short, the Micro is the best of the really ultra portable. All weather speakers. I'd always go for something a size or two bigger. But that's just me. There is only one name that everyone knows when it comes to Danish hi-fi products with an effortlessly chic. Scandinavian style vibe. And that name is not Libratone. However, while the one click is slightly inferior to Bang and Olufsen's Bioplay A1 sonically and aesthetically. It's not by a huge margin. And you can generally get the Libratone for less. Also, as you can see above, it has interchangeable handles. So that's a plus. Add NFC pairing. The ability to have two phones connected to it at once. A 3.5mm jack for whatever people use that for. The option to recharge your phone from the USB socket. Splash proofing. A choice of three colors and some extremely sexy promotional photos. And you have a portable speaker that's well worth considering. The Soundlink Revolve is made primarily for home use. But with a 12 hour battery and a degree of splash proofing, you can certainly bring it out into the garden. It is a bit heavier and bulkier than the options above. But 660 grams is still hardly arm breaking. The other way the Revolve's indoor friendliness manifests is with unusually good sound for such a small device. It supports aptX and radiates audio in a 360 degree arc. You can also pair two in stereo or dual mono if you want to use them further apart. With highly impressive results. The Soundlink Revolve Plus is another excellent option. It's a lot bigger, but does try to get around that reduction in carryability by adding a handle on top. The KEF Muo isn't waterproof but it offers easy portability thanks to its 12 hour battery and very compact duty-free Toblerone type size. However, unlike many of these speakers, the Muo has a sound that's really suited to listening to properly. In a quiet setting, rather than blasting out Katy Perry in your back garden. It's a very musical portable speaker, aimed at more demanding listeners. It has no water resistance, and is fairly crap for blasting out Katy Perry at your next pool party. For the kind of audiophile audience that demands a more refined sound even from a small portable. The KEF Muo is an excellent deal. It's also arguably the most attractive portable you can buy. With its metallic finish coming in a variety of hues. Zero refinement outdoor mode is pointless. It's only portable in the sense of having batteries. Clearly targeted at a more urban music market. This is quite heavy to lift and powerful enough to shake the foundations of your shed. Despite that it is, bizarrely, available at John Lewis and Partners, which is not traditionally the home of all Bloodclot gangster Yacht Man's Dem. As you can see, Monster's Monster is the 80s ghetto blaster, reimagined for the 2018. All that's missing is a big button marked bass boost. Although there is one that toggles between indoor and outdoor modes. To be frank, no bass boost button is required. Such is the brutal bottom end assault that fires from this thing when you push the volume up. With NFC for easy pairing, not that pairing via Bluetooth is exactly arduous. The Superstar Blaster also has a 3.5mm input. Perhaps for your DJ turntable. Or to add a microphone and throw down some verbal foulness. Yo, if you want party rocking rather than background music. This monster will leave you feeling bugged out by its electric boogaloo. I couldn't exactly recommend it to hi-fi enthusiasts, but I do rather like it. Text source t3.com